Oh, there's Patty Lane. Who? My managing editor's daughter. Excuse me, I must say hello. Patty? But you know the father figure. If he got winded, does he kill it? He doesn't believe in it. Do you want me to keep the license for you? No, I have a place to hide it. Hey, how about the honeymoon cabin? It's all set. We'll zip up Saturday, we'll use Hodad teeth, and we'll tell him we're just going for a little spin. <laughs> J.R., just finishing my editorial on teenage marriages. I'd say it wasn't a moment too soon, Martin. <laughs> now, listen to this. It's time that we place the blame squarely where it belongs. Not on the frail, inexperienced shoulders of the newlyweds, but on the broad backs of the mothers and fathers who allow these situations to develop under their very noses in ignorance. And there's more. That's what I've come to tell you. Oh, you talked to the mayor. Did you get some information for me? Some. Your daughter's getting married, sadly. <laughs> For a minute, it sounded as though you said my daughter was getting married on Saturday. I did. I saw her at the marriage license bureau. And you thought... <laughs> well, Patty was at the marriage license bureau. She was probably there with a friend. She certainly was. And I heard him advise her to hide the marriage license at the honeymoon lodge until they got there on Saturday. And if you're a whole dad, they're using your heap to get there. Oh, it's true. I'll, I'll put a stop to it, of course, but... Oh, in my opinion, that would be a most unfortunate approach. You have a better suggestion? Well, I've had some experience in these matters. You're dealing here, Martin, with adolescent emotions at a white-hot pitch. You have no idea how delicate the situation is. I would advise you to handle it very carefully. You would? I certainly would. The usual procedure in these unfortunate occurrences is for the blundering parents to rush in and forbid the marriage. The pages of history are strewn with the bodies of star-crossed lovers. Patty, a star-crossed lover? She's hardly learned to roller skate. Well, perhaps they don't intend to do a lot of roller skating. <laughs> I'm sure there's some logical explanation for all this. I mean, hey, Kathy will know the answer. There are no secrets between Patty and her. If Patty were going to elope, Kathy would know about it. I'll ask her. Kathy? What makes you think she's going to tell you the truth? If she doesn't have to. I'll know. See, Kathy's got a built-in lie detector. Whenever she says something that's not true, she hiccups. Kath? Hello, Uncle Martin. You're home early. Yeah, I had something to attend to. Uh, you know Mr. Castle. Yes, hello. It's nice to see you again, Mr. Castle. Kathy, you're looking very well. Thank you. Uh, where's your Aunt Natalie? She went shopping. Oh. And Patty? Patty? She's at a Red Cross class. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Kathy, is she alone? Who? The girl we're talking about, your cousin Patty. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Did Patty say anything to you about any special plans for Saturday? Saturday? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill him. When I get my hands on him, whoever he is, I'll kill him. <laughs> 